mean, the cat just left, the boys just got back from Turkey. Oh, it looked naked. I promise you, I'm wearing that top from Princess Polly. Um, anyway, the boys just came and dropped um, and picked up the little baby cat. Sad. I'm not gonna lie, I shed a little tear. That may sound very stupid to some of you, but <laughs> I'm gonna miss him. He was adorable. Anyway, I'm gonna do my makeup and I recently went on to another portal and I was actually going through the stuff that was on my wish list, which by the way, I have a wish list for almost every designer online retailer out there. <laughs> they just add stuff. I don't really buy often, but I just add stuff in there. I love it. I recently bought from, as you can see, from Nesta Porte, this Gucci, um, what is it called? Eclair de Beauté multi-use gel gloss. And I'm not gonna lie, when I got it, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's tiny. But I guess like that's the size of um, like a gel eyeshadow or something like that, or maybe like a liquid, not liquid, um, a cream blush. Maybe, no, cream blushes would be a sort of bit bigger than that. Um, but first of all, some things that I want to note. So for, I got it from Nesta Porte, it was £18 and £5 for shipping. And then I stupidly after went on the Gucci website and was like, oh wait, should I have ordered it from there? And on the Gucci website, oh, so on the Nesta Porte website, the shipping was going to say three to six business days. And on the Gucci website, it said two to three. So I was like, oh, did I just make a huge mistake? I could have got it on the Gucci website, but actually it's only available for pre-order on the website. Um, it says, it says the estimated delivery is the 21st of August to the 31st. So that would have been um, a lot longer to get here. So I was fine to pay the five pounds for Nesta Porte because I really wanted to try this product. It's quite interesting to me. And I love the glowy, bronzy, on holiday type of vibe that we're not gonna get this year, naturally. So fake it with some makeup. You can also get next day delivery on a Porte and that's eight pounds as well, but I didn't get that. It's four grams of product, which I should have known it was gonna be this small, but we'll see how long it lasts me. It might last me a while. It's named as a multi-use gloss for lips, cheeks, and eyes. And it's a vegan product too, which is quite good. Uh, I, I did look at a couple of reviews, not a lot, but I looked at a few reviews before. Grazia said that the glassy, shiny finish is perfect. And then I also looked at a couple YouTube reviews. There was a girl that was reviewing it compared to Vaseline, which is quite interesting because as you would have seen in the close-up, the product is like a completely clear gel. So it could be compared to that, but having looked at it myself, I definitely think the Vaseline is quite a bit thicker. But she <clears throat> mentioned on the eyes anyway that it's a lot less sticky, which is a good thing. You don't really, I think that's quite an editorial thing to put like Vaseline on the eyes. I don't wear much eyeshadow, so I won't really be putting it on my eyes today, but I'm going to try it on its own a little bit first. I'm just going to put a little bit of Ren Global Day Cream on. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of moisturiser on first. I love this stuff. It smells like spa. Also a vegan product as well. I um, noticed the other day it's cruelty free and vegan, which is good. Okay, let's try it. I have opened it, but I haven't touched the formula or done anything so let's do that with you guys. Mm -hmm. that product there. I'm just gonna use this quite a bit of excess on the lid so I'm just gonna use that and I'm gonna use it on the tops of my cheeks. It is a bit sticky but it doesn't feel oh it does give a nice shine. I'm also dabbing like it's product, but I can actually highlight under the brow line there. I can actually swipe because it's not a colour product, so I don't have to naturally blend it in that much. That looks quite nice. Let's put the excess on my lips. My lips look quite dry. It feels lovely on the lips. It doesn't feel like Vaseline. 
It doesn't have a smell either. Completely scentless. Yeah. I mean, the packaging is really pretty. I actually do really like this. It's definitely more glossy than it is a sheen. But for like a natural, like you could put it here, let's try it. You could put it on the top of your collarbone as well. Shoulder. Got it a bit everywhere there, but that's quite nice. I don't, I can tell in the camera I look a bit sweaty. I don't look sweaty in real life, but it's definitely a gloss. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie though. It doesn't sit quite nicely like on my face. Like I definitely feel like there's something there. Um, I think it would feel a lot nicer with makeup on. So I don't know if you can see the shine there and on the shoulders. Okay, now I'm gonna wash this off and I'm gonna try it on top of makeup instead, which is the real test. Cause that's how I'm gonna wear it. I'm really gonna wear it on its own to be honest. Now that I've washed that off, I'm gonna go back in with moisturizer. Gotta keep that skin. Fresh. And um, I'm just going to put my makeup on how I normally would and then come back to you guys with the putting the gloss on on top, which is the final step. So I'm going to do everything else first. Save you guys watching that boring stuff and get to the nitty gritty. <laughs> I made a little bit of a mess of the mascara there. I know people wait for it to dry and pick it off and stuff like that. I don't have patience. <laughs> um, so now that I've finished my makeup, all natural, I tried to use a little cream product so that it would sit nicely on top of it. Um, pretty much normal stuff that I use. I don't really wear much makeup anyway. But now it's time to use this. So the last thing I'm going to do quickly is do my lift. This is a NYX Soft matte lip cream in Prague and I'm going to kind of like dab it on and then rub it in and do that like really natural blurred berry look which I quite like I don't want it to be a bold lip. So I don't have a defined lip line. I mean, I do because my lips, but it's not defined by lip line or anything. So I'm just going to put the gloss on top now. 
Um, so yeah, this is the before. Before all the gloss. Still a little bit, um, it's not matte at all because I'm wearing cream products. But here we go. I'm again going to take some from the lid. I think in transit it was um, rummaged around a little bit. I'm going to go for the lips first. I like that a lot. It doesn't feel like a lip gloss. You can kind of build it up. Oh god, so you can put loads on and have it like really shiny and look like a lip gloss. Quite like that. Quite like that a lot. Now I'm gonna try the cheeks. You actually need like a tiny map. I like overloaded my lips so they're crazy. The cheeks, I don't think you need a lot. It does look really nice on the bar though too. It's really natural looking. I do like that it doesn't have colour. Can we see that? So I really wanted to do this to just see whether I can add it to my daily makeup for more of a natural look. And I actually love that. Now I don't know whether that's gonna set, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes and see if it does. But, cause it does feel a little bit tacky so far, I doubt it does, to be honest, I think it's just how it is. But I do really like the look. I think it looks really nice. Should we take our hair out there? Our, yours and mine. What do we think? I'm a fan. I like this product. I also asked my boyfriend, little, um, funny little uh, snippet. I asked my boyfriend how much he thought this product was. Um, and I, I can't remember what he said, and then I was like, it's Gucci, and he was like, oh, £35. And I was like, oh, I was expecting you to say more than that, it's actually 18 So, I thought, I honestly thought when Gucci Beauty came out, it was going to be like Victoria Beckham beauty prices, which I also really want to try, and I do want to try their stuff, it's so pricey. Um, but that packaging just looks stunning. I do want to try her stuff too, but I thought this was going to be on that price range, and I think £18 is okay for... Um, high-end beauty it's still expensive but I actually think that's an okay price and I actually really love the way it looks like a huge huge fan of the way it looks I really like it anyway that's my review for today I've made a bit of a mess in my bathroom here because I was doing my makeup so I'm gonna go tidy up now maybe eat some lunch it's actually quite nice and sunny out maybe Sunday probably not it's not that warm um, and yeah, I hope you guys liked that. Let me know if you want to need to try anything else. I do want to try Glossy. I've not tried any of their products before. And I would like to try some of their stuff. <coughs> but yeah, let me know if you enjoyed that. And let me know what else you would like to see. Let me know what you thought of the product too. Like, do you like this look? What do you think? Do you think it looks too wet? I can feel it's actually drying a little bit more on my face. I really like it. I'm a huge fan. Let me know what you think. Bye guys. I look like a cave woman. Look at the lashes. Look at the lashes. Better get a kick this all over the video.